So remember when I had that message for Omar Gosh, like last October-ish? Well, Spirit decided they have another message for him. And it was really strange because it triggered when I saw the thumbnail to his farm life video that he recently uploaded. And I'll upload that there. You can go watch it here. Anyhow, so I was not planning, <laughs> like last time, was not planning to make this video. I actually had another video already scheduled for Tuesday. But uh, Spirit's like, nah, son, we got something to talk about. We gotta, we gotta convey a message to Omar. And I'm like, okay, I'll be the messenger. I'm cool with that. So Omar, this video is for you. Because just upon seeing the thumbnail of your video, I got a huge wave of like sadness and those kinds of emotions. And so I think Spirit here wants me to cheer you up. So uh, hopefully this video does just that. And if you see Mickey in the background with the wig on, just don't pay attention to that. I couldn't move him because Ghosty Boy is sleeping right under it. And yeah, anyway. So, okay. His farm life video. I've been feeling more connected to animals. And so it's easier for me to communicate with animals and hear the things that they have to say. Now, it's not as frequent as I would uh, like it to be. But sometimes they're very adamant about sharing messages. And so Spirit's message is kind of combined with the messages of your animals. I don't know. I feel like Eliza uh, Thornberry from the Wild Thornberries. I don't know. This is weird. But uh, so, okay. I feel like, Omar, you might be wondering if you are doing the right thing in like life, your channel, your animals. And uh, the sadness that I was feeling, I kind of want to cry. I'm trying not to cry in this video and trying to make this a positive video. But, uh, so forgive me if I start bawling. Tis not the intention. But, you know, in your video, you do say you're going through some things. So I was feeling it before you said it. But, of course, you're going to have your skeptics. And it doesn't matter. I don't really care. The point is that spirit wants you to know that when it comes to your animals you are doing the right thing and those animals need you as much as you need them and I don't know if you realize it I feel like you're slowly coming to realize it and maybe it's even in your heart but this is how it's working and the reason is if you noticed, when you're in a negative mood, you tend to kind of find yourself at that farm, taking care of the animals. You might be doing some extra things that you might not even have to do, but you do it because you just gravitate that way, especially when you're feeling negative emotions. And the thing is, when it comes to these animals in that location, that place and those animals provide transmutation of those negative feelings and any other kinds of negative energies that may be sticking to you or you feel or whatever. So they help you transmute that out. So yeah, Omar, if yet noticing that you are spending more time at that farm with those animals or just spending time with the animals in general, that is why. Uh, for whatever reason, the birds, whether that's your ducks, is that, the one looks like a goose. Is that, a, I'm, I'm bad with names of things. But you got some chickens, you got some ducks. Um, and they kept pointing out the pool, the little plastic blue pools you have. They love that. It's great. However, they either want something bigger or maybe like push the pools closer together. I don't know if you've tried that or not, but these birds, I don't 
know the best way to describe it. The only thing I can say is they're like chatty old people. They want to talk to each other. They want to be in the pool floating and doing the bird thing, but like close to one another. It's weird. I don't know much about birds or livestock birds, but um, your birds are like, we want more water. We want like a bigger area to swim in and to be close together. The other thing that they're showing me is because chickens, typically they don't really like wa like floating in water. Obviously not all chickens are the same, but if they like water or you need them to cool themselves down, Spirit is showing me like a, a kiddie pool with rocks in it like those big stones that um not black stones like lighter stones so the sun doesn't make them really hot i don't know they're just showing me a kiddie pool with like larger flatter stones so it's like they have the option to be higher in the water than more immersed even though a kiddie pool is probably not much more deeper than this but like in parts of the pool like a closer to one side if that makes sense let me know if this makes sense I don't know again I know nothing about livestock or chickens uh, but yeah that's I am seeing that and I feel like it's something they're suggesting to try maybe they'll like it more the other thing, your birds, whether it's the chickens, the ducks, the turkeys, they have that energy of like, they have to have the last word with one another. It's so weird. And they're very fickle and ADHD-like. I'll be honest, I've never communicated with a bird before. Because this is kind of like a newer thing for me, my portfolio of animals that I have communicated with isn't as vast as I would like it to be. But again, the only thing I've only really communicated with thus far have been dogs, cats, squirrels, alpacas, and I think llamas. And I think that's about it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is new for me, with the birds. Which, another thing that popped up was, like, this kind of pond. I don't know if it's, like, a hydroponic pond. I mean, with the hydroponic pond, you can grow things, like plants. But there's also, like, this type of pond that the type of plants you put in it will help clean out the pond and keep it nice and clean they're kind of leaning towards that so it's not like extra extra work you gotta do i don't know like i said i don't know jack about ponds and hydroponic systems i'm just throwing out what spirit's saying i don't know maybe if it's a thought that you've had about having some kind of pond in that farm area for your birds that is a validation but there's something going on with ponds and hydroponic ponds and self-sufficient ponds that your birds are um, talking about. But um, Omar, you're very empathic. I can feel that. Like, I, I don't remember if I said that in my last video with about you, but you were very um, empathic. And it feels like you try to right the wrongs of others, even though it's not your responsibility it just, you feel like it is, and I feel like that has to do with the kind of person you are. And you kind of do this with the attempts of helping in specific areas of life that you are drawn to, such as helping people in aspects of life that you have experience in. So like you were saying about um, gambling responsibly, how you were saying how you had that experience growing up with your mother, but it feels like there's other things too and helping animals and it's just stuff like that because it's your nature to do so and you just do it without thinking so if that fits 
Let me know. I also feel like you're a jack of all trades. Or if you're not a jack of all trades, you're trying to be a jack of all trades, but I feel like you're a jack of all trades, especially with the type of content you're putting out. I feel like your brain's constantly going and your heart and or compassion is one of your biggest strengths. So based off of your energy, it feels like you bottle up a lot of emotions and stressors and anxieties and you do that because you're afraid of inconveniencing other people. And again, that's like an empathic thing. That's a compassion thing. And again, that's where the farm comes in to play here. Because you do that, you end up going to the farm because there's some uh, negative energy you try to release. Whether you realize it or not you kind of just do it instinctively it just happens and i don't feel like you're aware of it you just know probably that you when you feel sad or what have you negative feelings you end up at the farm <laughs> which is okay and it's interesting too because i believe you're a pisces which is a water sign water and earth kind of go hand in hand in some ways especially with like the animal aspect you were really drawn to animals and uh obviously you have a farm but that's part of like the water sign and some of those things too but i wouldn't be surprised if there are days where you've either, th either thought about or actually have done this but you go out with a lawn chair and just sit in the middle of the field with your animals or just sit in one of the pens with your animals and just chill. Not because you're necessarily taking care of them, but kind of like you're enjoying their company. And if you haven't done that, I recommend doing that. One thing I also would like to point out, your energy feels like it's all over the place, which is in part due to you being skilled in multiple things, wanting more in life, such as new skills projects, wanting to challenge yourself more, and to just grow overall as a person. It feels like sitting still is a difficult task for you and feels like you always are on the go. So like sitting down probably drives you bananas. But that's why you're doing all these things, while you're, why you're filming all this content, why you have all these other like hobbies or other things like your farm and stuff like that. It's like, cause you can't sit down. You've got like this hyperactive brain going on. And I also feel like you have this feeling that you're not doing enough. And the other thing is Omar, it does feel like you are extremely aware of your social presence, which does contribute to the restlessness because I feel like you might be asking yourself, am I enough? Am I doing enough? And could it be due just the whole social media influencer thing? Maybe. But there are some social media influencers who just take pictures or do videos and that's it and they don't really care. You're not like that. You can't just do nothing. And again, that's the compassion. That's the empathy that you have and I feel like many people might misjudge you in terms of why you do the things that you do and maybe they believe that you're doing all of the stuff you do with your channels and stuff like that for recognition but it doesn't feel like that at all it's like you have to do it and again it's that compassion thing you have to do this because you don't want certain people to be in a similar situation that you were in and it's kind of similar to why I do what I do and what other people do in terms of like their life mission you have your own mission you just there's things that you have to do that's ingrained in your brain and you're not going to be happy and you're not going to be calm and you're going to keep moving around until you get it done and not doing those things just weighs down on your heart whether it's animals, people, what have you, um, environmental things, yeah.
and you do a really great job using your past um, experiences and struggles to relate with others. And I feel like that's why you attract a high following. People love the genuineness that you provide. They love you. And I feel like you just need that reassurance that what you're doing is right. And it's okay to rest. I am similar in terms of how my brain works. I have a bajillion projects. Sometimes I start new projects before I can finish them. I feel like there's so many people that need help in the paranormal community that need help even psychologically and just having days where I rest and do nothing drives me absolutely bonkers. And I feel like you're the same. And I feel like that's why I kind of vibe with you in a way because we're similar in that aspect. And uh, I really respect you for all the things that you do for other people and the animals. Listen, if I had the money, my ass would have a farm just like you. Except I'd have maybe a little bit more goats <laughs> and more dogs. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter. I think you just need that reassurance that what you're doing is the right thing. And uh, don't be so hard on yourself. And uh, rest when you can, because you're not going to be good to anybody if you become unhealthy, whether that's mentally or physically. It's okay to rest, take a break. You can't help others until you help yourself. It's like the airplane analogy. When you're flying and something happens, they say, give yourself the oxygen first so you can help other people. Well, Ta-da, that is your message from Spirit. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't uh, too hard to follow. But if you see this, uh, thank you for taking the time. And Spirit thanks you for what you're doing. So I will see everyone else later. Peace out.